Greetings everyone, welcome to Cyber Hashira. Today's video is about return codes. PKCS11 functions are designed to provide a return code at the end of the execution. They indicate whether the function succeeded or failed. These return codes play a vital role in understanding the cause of a function's failure. So today I will talk about return codes and I will explain some of the common return codes in this video. Let's get started. Let's first try to understand what return codes are and why we need them. These codes are called by different names such as return codes, return value and CKR codes. However, according to PKCS11, they are referred to as crypto key return codes or CKR. The purpose of a return code is to provide an outcome of a PKCS11 function. Generally, CKR OK signifies that a function was able to successfully complete an operation as expected. CKR OK is typically considered a success. If it's not CKR OK, then it means something went wrong. Return codes in PKCS11 are of type CK underscore RV and are defined in the CryptoKey library using CKR underscore prefix. There is a value assigned to all CKR codes. If you go on page 381 of uh, the PKCS11 manual, you will see a comprehensive list of all CKR codes. On the right side of those CKR codes, there is a hexadecimal value assigned to each of them. And these values can be used to identify which code was returned by a PKCS11 function. One of the main use case for using a return code is troubleshooting issues that may occur while using a hardware token. For example, under normal circumstance, CKR OK would indicate that a function completed execution successfully. However, if an application throws CKR device memory, it would indicate a memory related issue with the token. So later in this video, I will go over a list of some of the most seen CKR codes in PKCS11. And if you are a developer who is developing a PKCS11 enabled application, then return codes are going to help you a lot with handling those errors and correcting them if possible. These are the list of PKCS11 return codes that I will be discussing in this video. According to PKCS11 2.20 manual, there are a total of 66 return codes. I have selected 34 return codes which I believe are common. So let's talk about them. I'll start with CKR OK. CKR OK is returned when a function executes successfully. It is a good practice to control the flow of execution by checking if a function is returning CKR OK or not. You always want to ensure that a requested function call was successful. Anything other than CKR OK may indicate that something went wrong and that situation should be properly handled by an application. The value of CKR OK is zero and you can read about CKR OK on page 89. CKR slot ID invalid means that the slot number an application is trying to use does not exist. Now, one way to prevent this return code is by calling C get slot list at the start of an application just to check for all available slots. If C get slot list returns nothing, then it means no slots were detected when the application started. And to correct that problem, your application must call C finalize and then C initialize. CKR slot ID invalid has a value of three and you can read about it on page 98. CKR general error is returned when a PKCS11 function fails during execution and CryptoKey is unsure about the cause. It's kind of like CryptoKey telling the application, hey, a function you call failed and I have no idea why it failed. It could be a hardware problem. It could be an issue with the device driver or maybe a, a connectivity. It could be anything. As the reason for the failure is unknown, it is best to call C finalize and then C initialize to correct the problem. CKR general error has a value of five and you can read about it on page 90. Some functions in PKCS11 requires additional information as argument. And if that information or argument is not correct, then crypto key would return CKR argument bad. 
Depending on what happened, you may need to think of a way to troubleshoot this problem. CKR argument bad has a value of 7 and you can read about it on page 93. CKR argument read only is returned when an attempt is made to change a read only attribute. Some examples of read only attributes are CKA local, CKA never extractable and CKA always sensitive. An attempt to change their values would fail with CKR attribute read only. CKR attribute read only is also returned when an attempt is made to change the attribute of an object with CKA modifiable set as false. The value of CKR attribute read only is 10 and you can read about it on page 64. I talked about CKA sensitive attribute in my previous video. It prevents sensitive information from being read. If an attempt is made to read a sensitive value of a sensitive object, then CKR attribute sensitive is returned. The value of CKR attribute sensitive is 11 and you can read about it on page 93. CKR attribute type invalid is returned when an invalid attribute is specified in a template. For example, private keys are supposed to sign and decrypt data. So if you try to specify CKA encrypt for a private key, then the token will return CKR attribute type invalid. This is also true for public key. They are used for encrypting and verifying a signature. So if you try to add CKA sign to a public key template, then CKR attribute type invalid is returned. The value of CKR attribute type invalid is 12 and you can read about it on page 93. CKR attribute value invalid is returned when an invalid value is specified for an attribute. For example, AS key can be of size 16, 24 or 32 bytes. If a wrong key size is specified while generating an AS key, then CKR attribute value invalid is returned. The value of CKR attribute value invalid is 13 and you can read about it on page 93. CKR data invalid is returned when an invalid data is passed into a function. I have mostly seen this code getting returned when an invalid data is passed into a function. For example, passing an uninitialized pointer variable. You may also see this return code when a decrypt operation fail. The value of CKR data invalid is 20 and you can read about it on page 94. CKR data length range is returned when an invalid length of data is passed as input into a function. One common scenario is when the input data that is supposed to be padded is not padded. Another scenario is when the length of an input data exceeds an algorithm's block size. The value of CKR data length range is 21 and you can read about it on page 94. CKR device error is returned when CryptoKey library does not receive any response from a token. This may happen if that token is too busy or because application can't communicate with that token anymore or could also be due to a hardware malfunction. An application may require a restart or just wait for some time to recover. The value of CKR device error is 30 and you can read about it on page 92. CKR device memory is returned when a token is out of memory. This could be as a result of too much memory utilization or improper memory handling. This problem could be cleared by freeing up some memory from a token or by simply restarting an application. If you continue to see CKR device memory even after restarting your application, then your token may need to be disconnected and then reconnected or rebooted or restarted, depending on which type of hardware token is being used. The value of CKR device memory is 31 and you can read about it on page 92. CKR function not supported is returned when a PKC11 function is not supported by a token. This could also be due to that function being disabled by the token. This problem can be fixed by updating the token to a newer firmware or by using an updated library provided by its vendor. The value of CKR function not supported is 54 and you can read about it on page 57. 
CKR key size range is returned when a certain key size can't be used on a token. For example, if a token is set up to operate in FIPS mode, then it will only allow keys to be generated of a certain limit. The value of CKR key size range is 62 and you can read about it on page 96. CKR key type inconsistent is returned when an invalid type of key is used for a crypto operation. For example, encrypting data using ASCBC mode but by using RSA key. Now this kind of mismatch is obviously wrong and will result in CKR key type inconsistent. The value of CKR key type inconsistent is 63 and you can read about it on page 96. CKR key not wrappable is returned when a token is unable to wrap a certain type of key. A token may have some kind of security restrictions which disallows wrapping a certain type of key. For example, some hardware token vendors may prevent a private key from leaving the token by disabling wrapping functionality. The value of CKR key not wrappable is 69 and you can read about it on page 95. CKR key unextractable is returned when an attempt is made to wrap a key which has CKA extractable attribute set as false. The value of CKR key unextractable is 6A and you can read about it on page 96. CKR mechanism invalid simply means that a mechanism being used is either not supported, disabled or it does not exist. So whenever possible, Try using C get mechanism list function to get the list of all mechanisms that are supported by a token. The value of CKR mechanism invalid is 70 and you can read about it on page 96. CKR mechanism param invalid is returned when an invalid parameter is passed into a mechanism. There are some mechanisms which requires a parameter. An example of a parameter is IV or initialization vector. So if a mechanism needs IV and if you don't pass IV, then you would get CKR mechanism param invalid. The value of CKR mechanism param invalid is 71 and you can read about it on page 96. CKR object handle invalid is returned when an invalid handle of an object is used. As you might already know, every object in PKCS11 has a handle number. If you want to use that object, you need to pass that handle number. And if that handle number does not exist, then CKR object handle invalid is returned. The value of CKR object handle invalid is 82 and you can read about it on page 96. CKR pin incorrect is returned when an incorrect pin or a password is entered for a user. It simply means invalid password. The value of CKR pin incorrect is A0 and you can read about it on page 96. CKR pin expired is returned when the password or a pin used to authenticate to a token has expired. You may need to change that pin or get it reset. The value of CKR pin expired is A3 and you can read about it on page 97. If there are too many failed attempts to authenticate, then a token may lock you out. When this happens, CryptoKey returns CKR pin locked. To fix this issue, you may need to get your password reset. The value of CKR pin locked is A4 and you can read about it on page 97. Most function in PKCS11 requires a session handle. And if that session handle number does not exist, then CKR session handle invalid is returned. The value of CKR session handle invalid is B3 and you can read about it on page 91. CKR signature invalid is returned when signature verification fails due to bad signature. The value of CKR signature invalid is C0 and you can read about it on page 98. There are some functions in PKCS11 that needs an attribute template as input. That function may also expect some attributes to be present in that template. CKR template incomplete is returned when that template is missing a required attribute. For example, if you were to generate an AS key, then you need to specify the size of that key. It's either 16, 24 or 32 bytes in length. 
and if CKA value len attribute is omitted from the template, then CKR template incomplete will be returned. The value of CKR template incomplete is D0 and you can read about it on page 98. If CryptoKey finds any inconsistency in an attribute template, then it would return CKR template inconsistent. A simple example to explain this is, imagine that an AS key that you're trying to generate has CKA encrypt set as true in the attribute template. If you try to add another entry for CKA encrypt, but this time if you set it as false, then CryptoKey will see this as an inconsistent information and will return CKA template inconsistent. The value of CKA template inconsistent is D1 and you can read about it on page 64. CKR token not present is returned when a specified slot does not have a token present in it. Abrupt removal or disconnection of a hardware token such as a smart card or a USB token or any other type of hardware security module could cause this problem. One way to prevent this from happening is to call C get slot list with token present set as true. The value of CKR token not present is E0 and you can read about it on page 92. CKR user not logged in is returned when a PKCS11 function expects a user to be logged in but they are not logged in. The value of CKR user not logged in is 101 and you can read about it on page 99. C unwrap key is a PKCS11 function which unwraps a wrapped key. During an unwrap operation, you need to specify which type of key you are trying to unwrap. If the specified key does not match with the key that you're trying to unwrap, then CKR wrapped key invalid is returned. For example, unwrapping an RSA private key as ECDSA private key would cause CKR wrapped key invalid. The value of CKR wrapped key invalid is 110 and you can read about it on page 100. There are some PKCS11 function that requires a memory buffer with some pre-allocated memory. If the size of data being returned by a function is larger than the allocated buffer, then CKR buffer to small is returned. The value of CKR buffer to small is 150 and you can read about it on page 94. I hope you still remember the flow of a PKCS11 application. C initialize should be the first PKCS11 function an application must call. If it doesn't, then CKR crypto key not initialized is returned. The value of CKR crypto key not initialized is 190 and you can read about it on page 94. If an attempt is made to initialize an already initialized crypto key, then CKR crypto key already initialized is returned. The value of CKR crypto key already initialized is 191 and you can read about it on page 94. There are some hardware token vendors who may provide some enhanced features as an addition to PKCS11 API. These enhancements may fail to work in certain situations and vendor defined codes are used to define those failures. Depending on which hardware token you're using, a return code of a vendor defined value is 0x800000 plus a vendor code. Those were the return codes that I wanted to talk about today in this video. I tried to cover as many of them as possible. Uh, please use the comment section if you have a question. I hope there was something useful for you in this video and I hope you would consider subscribing to my channel. I'll talk to you soon in another video. Take care.